Dan Jibo doesn't monkey around when it comes to paleontology. In 2000, he and a team of researchers announced the discovery of 45 million year old thumb length fossils for what was, at the time, the smallest primates ever unearthed. Recently, Jibo and a team of paleontologists, led by Nishi Jun of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing, announced the discovery of primate fossils found in China dating back 55 million years. And although Archisibus, as they call it, can easily fit in the palm of your hand, there's nothing little about the discovery of the oldest and most complete primate skeleton ever found. The new discovery is coming from uh, central China, and it is one of the oldest and most primitive of all the fossil primates. But probably the most interesting thing about it is almost a complete skeleton. So it is the oldest primate skeleton bar none. So we have its tail, its legs, part of its back, we have pieces of its arm anatomy, we have teeth, and we have parts of its head. It is 55 million years old, which is the beginning of the early Eocene. This is the very beginning of primate evolution. This skeleton is very small and fit in the palm of your hand, but it's articulated, which means all the bones are attached to each other. So we, have, we don't have to think about which bones go to what part of the body. We already know because they're actually in the right position. Once we found this fossil from China, which we named Archisebus, started working with an NIU undergraduate artist. We've decided to come up with this image you can see how small the primate is relative to the bumblebee and to the foliage. First thing you might notice, it has fairly small eyes, which means that it's diurnal. So this is an active primate in the daytime rather than a nocturnal or nighttime primate. The head is fairly small. The brain is pretty good size relatively. It has a short nose. It has a long back with very long legs. And in particular, you might notice how long the feet are. And the feet are about all the way from the heel here, all the way from the tips of the fingers or toes will go around the branch. It's about a third of the length of the entire leg. So this thing has an incredibly long foot and has long legs to boot. So it's a spectacular leaping primate, particularly for its size. It has a very long tail, which is we also find common to be among uh, leaping primates. And we decided to just kind of use a basic color pattern. So we kind of went with a brown, little reddish color background in terms of how it might look. This isn't a very unusual fossil. You find something like this maybe once every 50 to 100 years. Mm -hmm.